Okay, this is a record-breaking moment because we have two laundry baskets out and about. And within them contains three loads of laundry that I've been avoiding folding. So let's get to it. Hello, welcome back to another folding and story time. Today we're folding on a Friday. Kind of love a Friday folding sesh. How are you guys? How was your week? Uh, if you want to join in on the folding party, pause this video and head on over to your pile of laundry or really like any chore you've been putting off for a while. This particular folding series is all about just like letting me talk your ear off, keep you company while you attack and approach a chore that you dread. And as you, this is out of control. As you can see, I have, I, I just, I simply dread this task. Uh, today, Corny isn't here with us, um, which is really sad. I hate when she's not in these videos because I feel like she's the highlight of the videos. Um, she is with my mom because mom and dad are going on a date tonight, and it is official. I, we are going to be mom and dad. So we're gonna uh, soak up all the date nights we can while we can, uh, while it's a lot easier. Um, and so very much looking forward to that. So today, if you guys somehow missed it, I did an announcement on Tuesday that we are having a baby, I'm with a child. Um, it's so funny, I put that up on Tuesday and then subsequently I put up like pregnancy themed videos Wednesday, Thursday, and today. And every time there's like a handful of people that are shocked to find out because they must have missed the videos prior. So I will leave the link to the original announcement uh, down below in the description if you want to get all caught up on that. Um, so today I thought it would be fun since I am into my uh, yesterday marked Sorry, uh, yesterday marked the 15th week, I believe. We're into the 15th week. Um, and so since I obviously am just now sharing this information, I thought it would be fun to kind of go back and give you a little bit of backstory on uh, how this all began. <laughs> the birds and the bees, if you will. Um, and how things have progressed since then. So today, uh, let's chat about the day we found out we were pregnant which I remember very, very vividly. Um, before that, I guess I should give a little backstory on our decision. We, Jeff and I are, um, are both older. <laughs> a gentle way of saying it. We're older for like at least amongst our friends in terms of having babies. I feel like the majority of our friends who have kids, uh, a lot of their kids are like three to eight. Um, and Jeff and I, I'm turning 40 in April and Jeff had just turned 40, but we met later in life and got married. Um, I believe we were, I was like 38. So, um, anyways, it's definitely a leader start for us, but we are grateful for that because we were in the position or in relationships, uh, to make these decisions of marriage and even think about having baby until, uh, we met each other. So it, our timing is perfect and I feel very blessed with the way that all panned out. Um, and truthfully, when I met Jeff, I was like on the fence. Like I didn't really have a strong feeling one way or another about whether I wanted to have kids. And he was the exact same, which was so comforting because I feel like oftentimes you'll meet someone and they will be completely opposite of you. Like somebody will definitely want one and somebody will not. Um, and so the fact that we were both like, we just don't know yet was really wonderful. So we've been going on this journey of kind of discovery of this and wanting to start a family together. Um, and so I feel like I started getting the itch on our honeymoon. I think that's when Jeff would say I was starting to get the itch. And there was like moments along the way where we were both just like, yeah, it would be really nice at this point to have a family or to share this with someone else. Um, and so it was kind of like starting to creep up in the back of our mind. And then I don't know when it like solidified, but it got to a point where I think I was like, I want to do it. And he was like, okay. <laughs> and also I was like, also like, you know, there is unfortunately a little bit of a timeline. At least I was feeling it as I'm turning 40 and you know, we are lucky now that people can get pregnant 
far later in life. I think Hilary Swank is like 48 and having baby. She had twins. Whatever the case is. So like I definitely feel like I didn't feel as much pressure but it was starting to like weigh on me. And uh, we are coming upon our, actually today is our five year anniversary of like our first date. It just started to feel right and the timing started to feel right. And then also we recognize that maybe like there is never a right time. <laughs> like we can come up with excuses not to do it and, or wait for like, okay, until we, you know, sell this script I, or me or like until I book that VO job. Like, you know, there's always these like, Intils and tills or like what ifs, but it kind of just got to the point where we're like, all right, let's just start trying. Or as Jeff would say, I, would, I said, let's just give it a try. <laughs> and so um, we really try not to put a lot of pressure on the actual like getting pregnant part. We just uh, wanted to have fun, which it should be. It's a fun, extra <laughs> it was a fun uh, thing to get to do. Um, at least at first, this is all just my experience, by the way, I know like, and I will continue to preface this, and if I don't in each and every video, please recognize, um, and I said it in our announcement, that like, everyone's journey is different, and I know so many people suffer from not being able to get pregnant, or um, continuous miscarriages. I mean, there's so much to consider in terms of other people's experiences, and I never want to take that for granted, or make you feel that I am not aware of that so all these things i'm saying are just like specific for us so thank you for keeping that in mind i feel like you guys like know my heart and um where i'm at with all that but like it bears repeating um anyways what was i saying okay so yeah we were like okay so then one of my dearest friends um is a nurse practitioner in the OBGYN office and she's just been like my obg obg OBG, I don't know why it sounds funny, uh, forever. She, I obviously now have another doctor, but she would do like my pap smears, etc. So she was like an instrumental part in sort of guiding us in timing because contrary to what I thought, it's a whole lot harder in terms of like timing it out with your ovulation, blah, 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 blah. So she was like, hey, get this app and just like, follow it along according to your period like when your fertile days are so the first month around I was like game time Jeff let's do this and then I got my period and I was like oh and then I looked back and realized in the most least of fashion I did the math wrong so I was like completely off on the week of extravaganza and so that was my bad and so she was like, okay, try again on during this time of this time. I was like, okay, here we go. Had a grand old time. And then I was like, okay, nothing. Then I got COVID. Um, and I was like, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> and our like holidays were all messed up. Anyways, so then it, it, we're coming up to when my period's supposed to come, and it's not coming oh my god maybe this is it maybe this is it so i'm taking the test but the tests are saying like absolutely absolutely not you are not pregnant and i'm like this is really confusing oh maybe the reason why it's saying that i'm not pregnant it, or maybe the reason why my period is late rather is because i just had covid and i know that like especially when you get like there's like some studies like women who got vaccines like their periods were off and then there was some correlation according to my friend with like um, if you actually had COVID with your period being off. So I was like, that just like must be it. However, I'm pretty regular and like pretty consistent. So it was a little bit like weird, but I just kept each day. I think there was like three or four days past my missed period where I was like, something's so weird. Like, why is it saying I'm not pregnant, but I'm just like simply not getting my period. But I wasn't having like any of your typical like pregnancy symptoms or like clues in like my boobs weren't really hurting like they say they were going to like all that stuff like okay this is so weird so my friend was like just keep taking the test so we get through I believe we got through Thanksgiving and then it was like the Sunday after Thanksgiving and we had planned to have 
this big football game with all of our friends and their kids in the park at like one o'clock and so i get up and i'm like still no periods it's so weird well i guess we'll just like let me just take one more test it was like the last test in the in the box and i take the test and i look at it and i'm like hold up a very very faint line appeared like so faint that i was like i don't know this must be like wrong so i like wake up jeff and i'm like dude i mean i think so but there's like a it's like so faint that i'm confused by this and he gets up and <laughs> and I'm like, jump away. He like takes a stick. He's like swinging it around, like looking at it, like aerating it. He opens the thing. He's <laughs> looking, swinging the damn thing around. We FaceTime. We're, we're like laughing, but like we're so confused. I'm like crying, laughing because I think it's true. And then I'm just like, I think. I mean, I really do think that I'm pregnant, but like it's not like we see it in the movies. It's not like a clear answer. So we call my friend on FaceTime and she's like, yeah guys, J first of all, Jeff, stop swinging it around. Second of all, yeah, you're pregnant. Congratulations. I'm like, what? <laughs> Crying, laughing, like the whole shebang. And she was like, just go get a few more tests just so like you can be sure. But the reason why it's so faint is like, I guess the way I ovulate, whatever, I don't know, science. So. Jeff goes out and gets more tests, and uh, sure enough, it says that we were pregnant, and we just kind of like cried and laughed in bed, and then freaked out, and then we're trying to remember, oh, and then we had to go to this like big thing in the park with all of my friends, including the friend that we had just called, and so obviously we weren't gonna tell anyone because it was like so, so soon, like so soon that it was faint line soon, um, but, but like, it was such a bizarre thing to be amongst all of our friends and their kids and like processing this thing. It was just so wild. And of course we saw my friend there and she was kind of giving us the wink and the nod, which was really cute. Um, and yeah, it was just like, I feel like we both kicked into like protective mode. Like I was out there playing football, but I was like super like, like trying to play like very um delicately and he was being like super protective of me and like I don't know it was just it was really fun and then I'm trying to think like when we told our parents I think we waited about a week so that the two of us could really just like sit with it and process it and enjoy it as just ours um and then I think we just facetimed my mom we facetimed my mom and she just cried and laughed at the same time was so happy and called my dad i think we did it all over the phone because you know i feel like you watch all these videos of people like it's like you know telling their friends and it's really fun like in person it's like really fun and everything but i also feel like I don't know I'm just like a really sensitive person and I feel like I process information even the good stuff in my own way and like putting the pressure on someone to feel or react a certain way um, to a news that I'm giving stresses me out so we just like we're like you know what let's just like call people it's easier that way and then and then if we want to see them afterwards and celebrate or whatever the case is it just gives them like a moment to process and think about it and feel their feelings and then we can like get together does that make sense i don't know kind of reliving this all again uh because it feels like forever ago now and then we slowly started telling our friends and then let's see the holidays hit so we, oh the craziest thing is that you have to wait like i think it was like 10 weeks until your actual first doctor's appointment that's like the most brutal time because you're like well i really 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 would like to go to the doctor and like have permanent confirmation that this is like a go and that like baby is growing and baby is sticking and again there's so much like um that there's so much that can happen over that like time span but like the doctor won't see you before then so it's just it's very like tentative time but we just kind of like went with it and we're enjoying it and i've kind of had this i mentioned this before like kind of just like hippie mentality about it um where it's just like i you know it's sort of like all i can do is 
eat the right foods and take care of myself and like try to be zen about this all um that's the only control i really have over this the rest is up to whatever you believe in um and the bod and this baby that's you know um coming through to the world so i just kind of like hippie mama about it and i've been really 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 lucky for those who are asking um i didn't get sick like at all like uh, I, I, I mean maybe it's gonna come like I think I was nauseous like one day and it was so manageable um so that was really really cool I never like threw up or anything like that my main like symptoms were and still getting like super lightheaded that's like the big one for me um and I guess that's like a blood flow or blood increase thing so I've been trying to like deal with the Disneyus and that um, they kind of go hand in hand. Other than that, just mostly like I have mentioned over and over again, and I just have begun talking about it. Um, all my digestion stuff is like super off. Um, and like, you know, all the things that you hear about, like my skin was breaking out for a little while. I feel like I've gotten that under control. My boobs have been hurting. Like at first it was like out of control. Like I think in like week, you know, two or three after finding out, it was like, those were the first things to increase and be painful um, and haven't really stopped being painful, especially in the morning after you're laying on them for so long. Okay, that's enough about that. Um, what else? Yeah, that's kind of it. I haven't had many cravings. Just kind of moving along oh, and I'm being extremely exhausted. Like to the point where you're like, I literally can't like get up off of the couch right now. Um, and just really adjusting to that um mentally because you're used to your routines at least i am i'm like so type a i'm so used to my routines i'm so used to like my workout schedule i'm used to the way i do things um and the amount of coffee i drank used to drink um and so i think like the biggest shift more than anything was just like the mental head wrap around okay this is so exciting. We know that. I feel so blessed. All that. But then it's just like, holy crap. Like, not even when the baby comes. Just like right in this moment, I need to change a lot about my lifestyle. And like, I have to just put baby first. And I can't do things like I used to. Which isn't to say I won't be able to down the line. But for me, like, again, as someone who like, control is really helpful for me. When it comes to my anxiety, I... There was a learning curve and will continue to be obviously um on just how to how to handle that and how to kind of accept that my day-to-day -day routines are going to be completely different so i don't know does that make any sense i was trying to think what other questions people were asking me some questions uh that i prompted for this in yesterday's video and now of course i can't forget or I can't remember, which is another thing that's been happening to me a lot. I'm feeling like super flady. Um, but yeah, so far we've been really blessed. It's been super um, smooth. Jeff has been such a support. Um, and our community of friends and family have just been so lovely and supportive. Um, I will say, going back to sort of this idea of like mentally having to wrap my head around all this, I, I do feel, and I'm curious if anyone else has experienced this, um, in my first trimester specifically, I would say in like the first two months, I felt really lonely. I kept telling Jeff, I'm like, I just feel lonely. And I think it's cause like, first of all, it's so early that you're not telling a lot of people. So you're kind of on this journey just by yourself, obviously with your partner, but like, and you're out and about in the world and like nobody knows you're pregnant but you're feeling a certain way and you're in your head a lot like you're spending a lot of time in your head and again you're adjusting to this like new routine new body new schedule new symptoms new feelings um and i don't know i like and as much as like my friends that i had told were being supportive it's just like I don't know I don't know how to explain it other than like I was feeling very lonely and I felt like there wasn't like a ton of support available because like nobody really wants to like literally touch you in your first trimester because it's such like a, um, it's a sensitive time and so like you can't like join a yoga uh, like a mommy yoga class or a pregnancy yoga class prenatal yoga class you can't go get 
maternity massages. Like you can't do any of those kind of like self love. Okay, that's like maybe a little hyperbolic. You can do self, you can meditate at home. You can exercise, you can, you know, what you can do stuff. But like, I don't know, I felt like I really needed community, but it was like too early to really establish or find community. Um, and so, I don't know, I thought that was kind of an interesting uh, hurdle to jump. But now that I am uh, into my second trimester and now that all of you know, all my friends know, uh, we've gotten some confirmation after going to, we went to a specialist uh, to check on the baby since I am older. You get to go do that, which is kind of cool. So after we kind of got confirmation, I got my NIPT test back and everything so far has been looking good. There's, it's a little bit more like, okay, I'm part of this community now. I'm part into this new chapter. Um, and so here we go. Let's flow. And with that, I'm starting to like reach out to um, communities like doing prenatal Yoda. Uh, Yoda. Yoda. <laughs> I've never even seen Star Wars. Yoga. I'm going to start doing that. And then also once I announced on Instagram, a lot of young moms, um, either that, you know, I've... I'm friends with, well, I guess I told them my friends, but like peripheral friends or like, you know, old school friends or old neighborhood family friends um, have reached out and have offered advice or just support. And so un very unlike me because I'm pretty like anti so not anti-social, I'm just like a homebody and like my friends are my friends and like I'm hesitant to step out of my comfort zone. Um, I'm actually reaching out to those kind of people, people, a mom, a young moms, um, people who want to lend a helping hand and I'm going to take people up on that. And like, I think it's good to cultivate kind of, um, a new community in some ways to help support through this. So anyways, that's really woo woo and long winded. And I feel like I'm talking to my therapist. Thank you so much. Um, you know, feel free to bill me. Um, you might never see payment for that, but go ahead and send me that super bill. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's how things have been going so far. Um, trying to think if there's anything else. I don't know. Leave some questions down below, um, in terms of what you guys, um, are interested in hearing in terms of questions, but also, um, what you're interested in seeing as we start to, uh, go along on this journey. I know this week was all pregnancy themed videos and I promise it won't always be that um it's just I've been waiting so long to share with you that it's like such a good it's such a huge relief to be able to like fully be myself here and uh share these experiences and do the daily vlogs of what's actually happening in my daily life so thank you for that oh by the way just like random one-off if you saw yesterday's video I was talking about a video, a book that I picked up at Costco and a lot of you were so kind to let me know that that was, it was a Colleen Hoover book and it was the second one in a two part series and I got the second one, not the first one. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you told me and I knew that before I started the book because I think I'd be pretty confused and then ultimately disappointed. <laughs> so I will go and pick up the first one in that book. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for now. I truly adore you guys so very much um also thank you for your pickle recommendations in yesterday's video i love how passionate everyone is about their favorite pickle it actually is like so funny to me and also so awesome so i will i have written down a bunch of them and i will get moving on that oh my god so much laundry <laughs> I'm going to end this here, but know that I will finish. I will conquer that, and I will be back next week uh, for more. So have a fantastic weekend, y'all, and I will see you on Monday. Okay, bye.